Hey folks, we're at Model AI boot at Exponential 2024, and I'm here with my friend James Strawson from Model AI. And uh, Model AI is an amazing contributor to open source, a run code civil member, and we've collaborated together in creating a PX4 developer kit. So today we have the PX4 Autonomy Kit together with the Boxhold 2 platform, and James is going to talk to us a little bit more about the platform and the benefits for uh, of the open source community. So James, what do you got here? Thank you very much, Roman. So we have the PX4 Autonomy Dev Kit here. Uh, this is meant to be an easily accessible platform for PX4 developers uh, to contribute code and their own features, and also share the code across the world in a repeatable way so that other developers can collaborate and test each other's features on a repeatable hardware platform that everyone can share. Cool, so as a reference platform for your Boxel 2, it's also running PX4 uh, upstream, right? PX4 1.14 currently stable. Yep. Yeah, and there's plans to continue running stable on it? Absolutely. So what sort of components are on the kit? So this is meant to give uh, autonomous and GPS denied navigation developers uh, <laughs> platform to work with. So we've included two cameras in the kit. There is a 12 megapixel RGB camera on the front for video recording, streaming, and snapshots. And more importantly, we have a one megapixel global shutter computer vision camera on the front. And this comes out of the box running a visual inertial odometry stack for GPS denied navigation. Wait, and where's that stack coming from? This is all part of the Voxel SCK. So all of the software running on board is uh, an open platform. And the vast majority of it is actually open source so that developers can poke and prod at the software stack, modify it to their heart's content, and then test its integration with PX4. All right, so let me get this straight. So you got PX4 running stable and then an SDK on top with your visual inertial library. Correct. So what are the cameras specifically helping you with for the platform. So what are those cameras specifically doing for you, for a developer? Like, why do I need yes. this? So if you want to test uh, GPS denied navigation with the PX4 stack, then you need something which will do visual inertial odometry. But very few people want to spend the time and effort to develop their own visual inertial odometry stack. So we want to give developers a hardware and a software platform that's working out of the box as a starting point so that you can tweak and tune and make improvements for your specific application. And James, as a developer, like be frank, what is it that you love the most about this and what do you think developers are gonna like about it? Like, what do you think is the killer feature here? Uh, I would say three different things. Uh, first off, it works out of the box. So you buy one of these, you get a transmitter, you get batteries, and you can immediately do the demo that we have going in the background out of the box. So you have a starting point that you don't have to work on uh, for months and months just to yep. get going. Uh, second of all is the open SDK. So you don't have to create a very expensive software support subscription to yep. get going. The whole SDK is open and free to you for you to poke around with. Yep. Uh, and then finally, we have the community behind it. So this is running PX4 mainline, and anyone can contribute by asking questions or submitting merge requests or just talking to the community as a whole, uh, both through uh, the modal AI dev forum and then also the PX4 Discord channel. Awesome. So um, is there anything else that you think we should be talking to developers about this? Uh, I think that covers the main points. Where, where can uh, they find it? Uh, Modalai.com. It's uh, ready to purchase. Do you know what the current price is? This, I believe, is $2,700. Okay, great. That's a full kit. Awesome. So, if a developer picks this up, they're already on your platform. Mm -hmm. Can they use this as a prototyping machine as well? Absolutely. So, in the end, this is meant to be a reference drone. That's why it's all open. So, all of the connectors are available. So, you can start plugging in your own accessories to play with drivers or bringing up brand new sensors. We're trying not to enclose and hide things away. Instead, we want it to be open and accessible for engineers and developers. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time, James. I had a great time with you working on this project together. And uh, we released this at New Orleans last year in the PX4 Dev Summit. And we had a great time working together. And I hope that you enjoy this platform soon. All right? Well, thank you, everyone. Thank you.